edema is accumulation of extra fluid in the interstitial space or body cavity so increasing the interstitial fluid volume the extracellular fluid contains one third of body water which is about 14 liter two third of the body water being the intracellular which is 28 liter so the extracellular fluid two portions are the vascular compartment and the interstitial compartment in which there occur extra fluid accumulation the interstitial compartment comprises of 75 percent of the extracellular fluid which is about 10.5 liters and the blood plasma that contains 25 percent of the extracellular fluid which is about 3.5 liters localized edema localized edema may be non-pitting or mixed pitting or non-pitting depending on the situation now localized non-pitting edema the non-pitting edema is seen especially in number one lymphatic disorders number two thyroid conditions number three capillary endothelial damage and number four edema of inflammation now number one lymphatic disorders causing non-pitting edema the lymphatic circulation blockade causes lymphedema that occurs for example after mastectomy lymph node surgery radiation therapy or it may be congenital so after mastectomy it may be due to block of the lymphatic vessel number two hyper or hypothyroidism sometimes causes edema which is non-pitting fatty mix edema in hypothyroidism is characterized by non-pitting edema and why due to increased glucose amino glycan number three capillary endothelial damage causes increased protein transfer from the blood vessels into the interstitial space causing edema so capillary endothelial damage causing protein transfer to the interstitial space examples are infections for example bacterial viral infections or hypersensitivity reactions and toxin other conditions like burns and allergic reaction and trauma may also cause blisters and bulle in the burns form non-pitting edema are the examples now localized mixed edema may be pitting or non-pitting number one decreased arterial volume and decreased vascular resistance vasodilatation causes localized edema why due to sodium retention number two edema limited to a limb is usually due to lymphatic or venous obstruction number three thrombophilibitis of one one limb can also cause localized edema of the limb due to increased in venous pressure. Number four, edema in hemiplegia is usually unilateral and is due to decreased lymphatic or venous drainage. Number four, jugular vein obstruction may cause increased venous pressure that causes edema of the face, neck, and upper limb. So, jugular vein obstruction causes edema of face, neck, and upper limb. Edema of heart failure is is associated with increased jugular venous pressure. Number seven, chylose effusion. What's that? It contains chylomicron with triglycerides and lymphocyte. Number eight, ascites and pleural effusion are also examples of localized edema. Number nine, cerebral edema is extracellular fluid accumulation in the brain and occurs in trauma, tumors, infections, stroke, or reduced oxygen at high altitude. So what are the features of cerebral edema? It causes drowsiness or loss of consciousness leading to brain herniation and death. So cerebral edema if the pressure increases, it may cause brain herniation and death. Prolonged standing causes edema in the lower leg. Now, other conditions that cause edema. Number one, angioedema is focal edema of the dermis and subcutaneous tissue. Why does it occur? Number one, it is caused by mast cell derived mediator. And what are that mediators? Histamine and bradykinin. And number two, complement derived mediators also cause angioedema. Angio Angioedema is caused by allergy to drug, venom, food, pollen, or animal dander. So, pollen and animal dander cause angioedema due to the release of histamine and bradykinin. Now, sepsis. The edema caused in sepsis that occur in sepsis, there is fever, tachycardia, focal infection, and it's a painless edema. Whereas, the edema of cellulitis is red and painful, tender and, and circumscribed edema that occur 
people with necrotizing infection and constitutional symptoms. So the edema of sepsis is painless with fever and tachycardia, whereas edema of cellulitis is painful with circumscribed edema that occurs in necrotizing infections. Number four, flariasis. It causes edema, lymphatic parasitic focal edema in endemic area. Acute symptoms include fever, lymphadenitis, lymphangitis and epididymitis. So in flariasis there occur lymphadenitis, lymphangitis and epididymitis. And elephantiasis is a massive swelling in the legs or scrotum in flariasis due to lymphatic obstruction. The edema in trichinosis. There is periorbital edema with fever, muscle pain and is Sinophilia. So, periorbital edema with fever, muscle pain, and sinophilia. Diagnosis with enzyme immunoassay and muscle biopsy. Treatment of trichinosis is mebendazole or albendazole, and in severe cases, prednisone.